Welcome to RePhoto and Video's Virtual Installation Guide for Nauticam Style Extension Rings and Ports. There are three different generations of Nauticam Extension Rings. All of them follow the same process, however, the locking mechanisms differ slightly. The first generation has a stainless steel knob that you can push down and turn in until it lies flat in the indentation provided. You will see the locking mechanism move accordingly. The second generation has a red plastic lever that snaps into place by pushing up on the black box next to it. You will see the red lever move into the locked position. The third generation is much like the first and has a stainless steel knob that you can turn in until it lies flat in the indentation provided. Now that we know how each lock operates, we can move on to the installation. In order to install an extension ring, you need to first place the dome port side up. You line up the line on the ring to the O on the dome. Press down onto the extension ring until the ring lies flush with the back of the dome. Then twist the ring until the O's line up and flip the lock into place. When using a brand of dome that doesn't have a visible indicator, line the O on the ring up with the center of the shade. If you tend to remove the shade, then we recommend putting your own visual indicator on the back of the dome. Once the extension ring is locked into place, you can install the dome with the extension onto the housing. To unlock the bayonet, simply press down on the gray button above the red lever and rotate. Line up the O's on the ring and the housing and press down until the ring sits flush. Locking the bayonet should be easy with very little resistance. If you feel any sort of resistance, stop what you're doing and make sure the ring is sitting flush with nothing obstructing the seal. This has been the Reef Photo and Video Virtual Installation Guide for Nauticam Style Extension Rings and Ports. If you have any questions, please contact us at support.team at reefphoto.com.